Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be diving into the topic of do VPNs really not collect any data from their users? Do VPNs really make you as anonymous as they make it seem? We're going to be answering that question and more today, so stay tuned. Now, if you guys haven't already checked out vpntierlist.com, it's the definitive ranking system for VPNs. If you haven't decided which VPN to use, maybe you're thinking about switching, go check out vpntierlist.com. Basically what this website is, it's a website that has two tier lists, one from the community where you guys could submit your own VPN reviews. The algorithm automatically ranks those VPNs according to your scores. And I also have my rating table as well, which is based on my objective verifiable data collection and um, analysis of VPNs and what they do right and what they do wrong. So everything like this is freely available. If you click on any of these links on the website, it'll help support the channel. You also usually get an exclusive discount, a couple extra months free, something like that, as well as usually 50 to 70% off. So make sure to check out any of these links on the website if you wanna help support the channel and get a good review. And also guys, remember all this data here is um, like the speed test have been verified on real VPN speeds.com this was a huge project i did where we ran over 3847 speed tests to find the fastest vpn if you want to look at that data or if you want to submit some ratings for privacy tools or check out other ones that people have read also the blog is actively updated as well so this is one of your best resources when it comes to vpns so check it out also guys i really need your help with people submitting more vpn reviews so make sure to do that to help the community so guys, I basically saw a question on Reddit where people were saying, do VPNs really not collect any data from their users? Let's go ahead and check that out and give you my opinion on it. So guys, this is basically the thread. This guy says he's been reading more about VPNs lately and something's been bugging him. A lot of VPNs claim to have a no strict log policy, but I've also seen uh, that people say if VPNs are requested to give up data, they are legally obligated to hand it over. So it seems like they do keep something, at least temporarily. This guy says he's not really doing anything illegal or shady. He just cares about privacy. So this is a valid question. And there's a lot of kind of complexity to it in a lot of ways. So fundamentally, let's just kind of look at the first thing. When discussing VPNs, you need to know if they collect logs or not. Now, some VPNs aren't necessarily going to tell you they do, but a lot of VPNs will specifically tell you they don't. And for the most part, these VPNs that tell you they don't collect logs, don't collect your logs. I'll show you an example. If you go on a NordVPN's website, which is one of my top rated VPNs right now, they say a strict no log policy. Rest assured, we do not collect or store any of your private information, such as bandwidth, traffic logs, IP addresses, or browsing data. That said, I also know other VPNs like Turbo VPN, for example, which are um, alleged to have connections to China, also claim on their website that they have a no log policy. Um, let me see where that is. It's somewhere around here. Um, I think I saw it. Let's see. No log. Um, I just saw it. Where uh, log? There it is. No logs policy. So Turbo VPN also claims they have a no log policy. So how can you really know if um, these VPNs? have no logs or not after besides reading the privacy policy for like 30 minutes, right? How do you actually know? Well, you could just go into their privacy policy very simply. Uh, you can see here Turbo VPN collects VPN connection success, VPN location connected to your country, internet service provider. It says that you cannot be identified from this abstracted data. Um, it also collects diagnostic data and various other data. They say that it's irreversibly anonymized, but it's still collecting data. So I would say it's not really a no log VPN provider. But let's say, you know, you have two VPNs. One says they don't collect logs. Another one says they don't collect logs. How can you know really which one to collect logs? Well, you need to think about, you know, the capability to collect logs. Does your VPN use RAM servers? If your VPN says you, they use RAM servers, this is a good way to ensure that they're really not trying to collect logs. This basically means that the servers don't really have enough memory to actually store information about what you're doing and they automatically purge when the service restart and stuff like that. So it's a good kind of way for um, you to kind of feel safe knowing that they're not collecting or at least have the capability of collecting your logs. As you can see from this little Google search, 
Uh, Turbo VPN does not use RAM only server uh, servers, so they fundamentally have a difference in capability to collect logs than some other VPN providers. Additionally, there are other things you want to look for when it comes to understanding a VPN's privacy level and if they have the capability to collect logs. That's why I've made the privacy audit section of my tier list. As you can see here, something like privacy audit is very important. Um, if there is no logs collected, I give them a one point. But that said, there's also a lot of other points involved, like if there's ever been a leak of customer information, if the VPN's ever sold, um, changed hands, if there's a bug bounty program, if there's been no log audits, if there's been company acquisitions. It's kind of like um, sold. I meant if there's been information sold. Um, information, but also changing ownership of the company is also concerning. So there's all these different little things and I've kind of done the research and put numbers on it for you specifically. So I would say, you know, if you're wondering, you know, how do I really know if I could trust the VPN to what extent all these different features? Well, I already did the work for you. Uh, so there you go. But if you want to kind of learn about doing it yourself, well, like I said, you could read the privacy policy, check if there's a no log audit, check if they have RAM servers, check and see how reputable the company itself is. You could even just do a basic search in chat GPT. Like if you look up Turbo VPN, you can see that there's been a alleged connection to China and stuff like that. So those are good ways to kind of start doing your own research if you want to. We can also talk about some other fundamental questions when it comes to privacy and logs and stuff like that. Um, this guy says they're fundamentally obliged to hand over data they have, whether that contains anything useful or not is another matter. And that's really the key, key point. If a VPN like NordVPN is using RAM servers, if it's not collecting any information, all they can really send is whatever email address paid for the VPN and stuff like that. There really isn't too much information that can be passed along. The more the VPN collects, the more they could pass along. So that's why it's important to pick a VPN that is not collecting a lot of information. You might be wondering, well, then how do I give a VPN less information so they're not really storing anything on me? Well, that's a good question. Some of the tips you could do are using an anonymous email address. Sign up for an email address for something like Tutanota. Um, that way you're not really connected that to your main email address. You could sign up there. They're also privacy respecting service. So having an anonymous email address like that when signing up for VPN could be a really good step. You can also sign up for VPNs with cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. Some VPNs even allow Monero and some other private currencies. You could even use something like privacy.com to kind of obfuscate it a little bit by not having to give your billing information and stuff like that. All these are good steps when signing up for VPNs anonymously to ensure they're collecting the least amount of information about you. But at the end of the day, you know, what is the most important thing? Why would a VPN give up information theoretically if they had anything on you in the first place? Well, that's really going to be just a few extenuating circumstances. Let's say you're committing treason. You murdered somebody. Um, there's some involvement at a grand scale that attracts multiple police agencies, multiple spy agencies. You're going to be have to doing something pretty crazy to gain the attention of a VPN that would actually give up anything they had on you if they had anything on you. So for the average person, this never really happens. That's why you don't really see many news articles about NordVPN giving away logs because it doesn't really happen. Most people using VPNs are just trying to anonymize internet activity, do some simple torrenting with legal Linux ISOs, and just generally av avoid some geo restrictions and stuff like that. At the end of the day, it really comes to a simple question. There's no 100% guarantee a VPN won't give up information about you, but if you're not using a VPN, there is a 100% guarantee that your ISP or your internet service provider is tracking every single thing you do. They can see which websites you visit. They could sell that information. The current regulations in the United States are very tilted towards corporations and not the consumer, and elsewhere in the world, this is also becoming true. So if you're not using a VPN, you're just simply screwed. If you are using a VPN and you pick the right one, you're gonna be off to a good start, but of course, nothing's perfect. But by using various different techniques, like signing up for Tutsunota, using cryptocurrency to pay, or something like privacy.com, you're off to a good start. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Let me know if you want more like this, where I kind of look at basic user questions about VPNs and kind of my opinions on it. Make sure to check out vpntierless.com, and I'll see you again very soon.